The careful boys are fucking rich. Let's go. Oh, let's go. We made let's more go. money. Baby. Is that from the Super Bowl? <laughs> This is from the Hell yeah! How, hey, how much? How much money? Did right, we let's make? talk about and how much. No, get you this guys. out of here. Let's talk about the winnings. No, get out, yeah, get this out of here. Right, Look, right, we've seen your losing what ticket eight times already yesterday. What does this say? What does this say? Three hundred twenty dollars. The size of the sack so small we dropped it with. <laughs> 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 it didn't have the same matching effect. A stripper's like, I make that in five bet, minutes. A stripper's we bet the favorite heavily. <laughs> heavy favorite. How many? You should have brought that once. How much did you guys win per person? I I think we lost uncountable amount because it was negative. It was negative 309. It's whatever. negative money? Yeah, we lost money. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. So we each won like 300 bucks. No, no, no. So you put 200, we got like 130 or something like that. Yeah, look, look, look. So we made 130. <laughs> What's the net on we, what we made? Four. 130. Oh, okay. Six, so gross seven, 330. Eight, six, nine, 1,000, 100, 200, 300, 400, 526. So five no twenty-six cents? divided by five. Yeah. You guys didn't so win 105. no cents. I think you gave me a penny. One hundred and five and twenty cents, guys. That's pretty good. So we made twenty dollars. We made one hundred and five dollars and twenty cents because we're getting our two hundred initially back. Uh, and then you got to tip. You, know you got to tip the bookie. Yeah. <laughs> Get the fuck <laughs> out of here, Joe. I would have won three hundred twenty bucks on the two hundred. But what did you, you did. lose? What did you <laughs> lose? You go tell the did. fucking guy at the, at the book. That you would have. It was a grandma. Go she was nice. Oh, really? Yeah. And then she gave me a drink voucher. Give I want a money. drink voucher, okay? She gave me a drink voucher and Give she says, money. here's a huge fucking list of bets. You said it was like 50 pages. Yeah. She gave me the whole booklet, right? Yeah, I had and to you could bet on everything. Everything. Coin toss. What's everything. The, what, yeah. What's the return on betting on the coin toss correctly? It's fucking crazy. Yeah. What, what, was 50, the return, what was the return on your bet? <laughs> You don't even want to know, man. 320. Zero, dog. No. Zero. You bet on the wrong one. Right. So uh, I think this is going to be a tradition from now on, where every Super Bowl, mm -hmm. I'm going to bet the underdog, and you guys just bet the favorite. Well, sometimes we're going to bet the underdog, too. How about we bet on the other We're sports. betting on the city this time. Maybe Joe's the underdog. We bet on Joe. Is there an underdog for the coin to us? Like, oh, it's not going to be heads or tails. It's not 50-50. We, we do the not crazy bets tails. next year, bro. Yeah. The, we'll All get the, the fucking bets. Oh, the, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll bring the booklet from Vegas. We'll fucking do the booklet. Should we do like $1 <laughs> on every bet possible? <laughs> I'm just going to copy Pelosi on the Super Bowl bets, too. Oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> Nancy, so who are you picking? <laughs> hey, if I, bet, first if I bet the spread, right, I would have won. If you bet the spread, you would have won? Yeah, because it was plus three. Yeah. Yeah, I think you would have won. Yeah, but you did explain that. that. What's plus three? I, <laughs> I did it outright because I wanted to win big, dude. Yeah, Joe's talking the, about Joe's all the, the bets fighter Joe on the should have made. And he's like getting what carried out. Mean? I would have won. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's entire life, his book should be like what I would have had. So the difference yeah, in, this, dude, in the spread was three points because it was That's twenty to three. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, give my money. Yeah, sure. How much is it? Uh, it's 105 to everybody. You can keep my twenty cents as a fee. Are there any bets on like a cheerleader <laughs> breaking her legs or something? Like from being, like being spun around? I think so. Everybody gets 305. 305. 305. I have, I have change. I have change. We should, we should bet like who during the halftime show is going to be a meme. Because every halftime show, there's going to be a meme. Joe, uh, Bart only got 200. But the meme of the halftime show was definitely 50 Cent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him hanging upside yeah. down. The cool meme was the Eminem kneeling, but the hang upside down 50 was fucking funny. Get yourself a new pair of shoes, sweetie. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to do with this. We'll $5 short. What's, what's the rest of it. Yeah, you got I was planning on, um, you know, I was planning on going to the Batman with you guys, but nobody wants to see Batman except for me and Anthony. So I want whatever. to. Oh shit! This is going to Batman then, baby. This is five gallons of gas right here. <laughs> Pretty much, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, speaking of that, in LA, it's five dollars and fifty cents right now. Dude, at the Beverly Hollywood, Center, it's like, it's like yeah, it's six dude, bucks. It's six and a half over at Alameda by the um, train station. Oh, next six to the uh, uh, crazy expensive. Next one? to the French yeah. dip place. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Six fifty. Even in Vegas, six it's like four right now. Yeah. Yeah. I I I go flex fuel with E eighty. And then I've never been happier. How does that work? Is what? that a different price or? Yeah, it's like two ninety nine. What? What? Wait, so like how? my Jeep Grand Cherokee takes E eighty five flex fuel. Yeah. What's flex fuel? Flex yeah. fuel is like what is that? Corn oil or some shit? It's like not actual like regular yep. gasoline. Can you make it at home? No. You use cooking oil? <laughs> no. Cause you know some diesel fools, what they do is they go to the back of restaurants and all the old oil, they'll take it and they filter it and they could just pump their diesel trucks with that kitchen no oil. Way. No way. No way. Could do it. That sounds. So Chinese, <laughs> but, it's free, but it's free. A lot of who asked that much free time, dude. Good lord, that's, that's why the it's like thing. Joe's fucking smuggling operation. It's the yeah. same type of thing, but just like with less payout. <laughs> Play with us, yeah. Joe's like, you take the oil, you, you buy a plane, <laughs> you, open, you buy a restaurant, you open a chicken store, <laughs> you get all the grease. <laughs>
All the used fried chicken, baby. So well, how many miles per gallon do you get on the E85 stuff? Well, it's a Jeep Grand Cherokee, so my miles aren't good. I go from like 18 to 20 miles a, a gallon on the highway. And then maybe like 14 to like 16 on like the the city. Yeah. But because it's like three dollars a, ga uh, a a gallon, and my tank is I think 20 gallons. Right. I'm looking at like 60 to 65 dollars to fill up on good. E85. But on regular, I'm obviously looking at like 90 bucks to 100. Do you lose horsepower? Is it like weaker? You, it's a little bit weaker, and the gas doesn't uh, take as long. But because of my normal commute schedule now. And I'm not like driving like crazy stuff. I'm like, dude, this is the way. But but to get to the gas station, do you waste a half a tank? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know how some people do that? The, like the Asian moms be like, oh, I gotta go get Costco gas. It's cheaper. But it's like, dude, but that's like a 20 minute drive. And, to and you wait like 12 hours. Yeah, and in a parking lot. You already waste a quarter tank of gas doing the getting gas. <laughs> the super the super Chinese fools I know, they'll bring barrels. So they'll go. <laughs> yeah. Is that legal? You can't One of my Vietnamese that? homies back in his dad would bring barrels. Go there, fill up the uh, the car, and then fill up barrels, and so he has barrels of gas at home. Like the little red things? Are you talking about a giant? A giant barrel. thing that he later like puts into the red up. thing That's dope. to put into his Just car. Just makes you look like the Unabomber when you do that. Yeah, shit. dude, it's a fire hazard as fuck. You leave that shit. But they're Asian, so you know it's easy. You know? <laughs> All right, no threat. Are you guys ready for our next bet? Because now we gotta taste the action. Take my yeah, money, yeah. go. We're all excited. You know what has the biggest <laughs> odds? Take your winnings and put it in. It doesn't matter what the bet is. Just take your winnings. Let's go. Okay, so here's what we're doing. Here's what we're doing. Whatever the biggest odds is, I'm in. On Barons, on Barons, <laughs> and there's a couple of places too. You can bet on what the price of gas is going to be. Shut up. Whoa. What's Barons? To the moon, seven dollars. <laughs> it's a really <laughs> shitty looking is website. It, is it price of gas <laughs> by oil <laughs> barrel? <laughs> Is it price of gas by oil oh. barrel? It is price of gas by the barrel, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. You nerd. Oh, that's oh, smart. Well, it's because the gas prices fluctuate because oh, every single gas station chooses their own. You're just smart, dude, you're just smart. Aw, uh, damn, we need to put four Gs with the commodity broker to get in. Fuck this shit. That's that right. sounds like some stock option shit. Have yeah. Joe pay the commodity broker and we'll pay the place of bets. How about we bet on some fights, yo? I'm down. All right. All right. What's the next fight? Saturday. What's, what's Saturday? One, Who's the underdog? Uh, Jorge Masvidal. He's the oh, underdog. He's what? the underdog. What? He's the guy that did the flying knees. Oh, the guy I'm betting on fighting. him then. He's fighting Colby Covington. It's gonna be a big fight. So. Time out. Have you ever bet on fights? I bet all the time. Do you? What's your win ratio? It's hard. It's really, it's really hard. hard. I bet I'll say that. I Whoa. bet. <laughs> so answer the question. I just felt the chill, bro. It's tough. I it's bet tough. three times on fights. I lost two of them. Because part I'm of asking, it, I'm asking the losing coach. The losing, losing coach, coach right here. Right? No, you're a champion. You're a black belt champion or whatever. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it's hard because when you're betting with like the boys, you're betting on like who you kind of want to win sometimes. Uh, but when you're betting to like when you're trying to bet and to be, win, you're making, to win, you're making emotional it's bets. Valid. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of fucking analysis, and it can be kind of hard. How much you gonna bet? You know, it's like a hundred bucks on it. Who are you betting on for this one? I'm not gonna touch this one, but I think it'd be Why? fun. If we all kind of play a little, did you say I'm not gonna touch this one? But I think it'd be fun if we all touch this yeah. one. <laughs> Wait, what? What? What day? What day? Yeah. Saturday. The Saturday. Shit, I won't be in Vegas till Sunday. Who's gonna be at Vegas first? I'll be no. in Vegas. No, you won't. You're we'll be filming Take Hit. Fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> None of us right. are be in Vegas. Never mind. Who's gonna place the Never bet mind. for us? Stupid idea. Stupid. Who's idea. gonna place the bet? If no one's in Vegas, we can all just bet against Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Is Michael in Vegas? Bro? Bet I'm betting the underdog. Dude, he every just said Jorge Masvidal is the underdog. Yeah, he's you fucking could, dope. You could do uh, Bovada. That's what I what use. What? You guys use Bovada? Oh, I used to play heard. poker on Bovada. Is that on Coinbase? Yeah, Bovada? people play roulette. <laughs> My buddies play roulette on Bovada. It's like a Latvian uh, betting site, Bovada. which is pretty... Bovada.lv. How do you bet? You live in California. How the fuck are you betting? Illegally? So you do it through Bitcoin, actually. So you could like get payouts through Bitcoin. You, wow. you say, like it's crazy, bro. Like this bad whole. Boy. I actually learned about Bitcoin boy. through this website. You're more degen than I wow. thought you were. I, I don't do it a lot. I really don't. I stop. I'm out of the game. This was not even crypto. You like a no, 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 no. I'm at the game. I'm a little pussy, bro. So I, I only yeah. bet like a little bit here and there. But back in the day, I used to bet like 12 fight parlays. The fuck does that mean? So it, you're like betting on exactly. It's very <laughs> similar to the yogurt. Right. Um, no, but it's a uh, you bet on. Say I want 12 fighters to win. I pick those 12 fighters. Obviously, for parlays, you want to bet too much because then your odds get smaller and smaller. But the wet payout is way higher. So I used to bet like 10 bucks and bet like 12 fighters. And oh. sometimes I'll get really close and, and get like five hundred dollars for you know ten bucks. twenty bucks at a time. Like a roulette table then. But uh, if you hit yeah. all twelve, it's like killer pay. And I, I have, I have like once or no twice. Way. But then sometimes you'll get one decision, 
that is kind of fucked up uh, and that didn't really go to the actual fighter and then you're like assed out. Today's video is brought to you by Babbel. All right, when I was in high school, I tried to learn Espanol. I failed miserably because so the structure, man, the way the class is formed, you gotta use a textbook and oh my God, my eyes, it sucks. Learning was not very fun. And then when if it's not fun, my brain resisted it. Yeah. But what's awesome with Babbel, which is a super popular app that has more than 10 million sold programs out there. It's pretty freaking awesome because they have really, really easy 15 minute lessons and it made it pretty fun for me. Yeah, 15 minute quick lessons. So they're bite sized. You're able to understand, learn on the go, developed by over a hundred language experts. And they even have speech recognition technology so you can speak to it and it helps you with your enunciation. This is the modern way to learn a language. And one of my favorite things is they have a 20 day money back guarantee. So after learning for 20 days, you're like, man, I still stupid. You can get your money back. But also with Babel, you have 14 different languages you could choose from, from like Spanish and German and Italian. Go travel to Europe, baby. Yeah, French, bonjour. Right now, save up to 60% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash off the record. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com slash off the record. For up to 60% off your subscription, Babbel, your language for life. We can't so bet on this fight. fight without you. You're the one that knows everything. Yeah, why are you not in the game? What are you talking about? You literally are just handing, you're, you're handed money today. Let's, Let's bet on it. bravado. Or bravado, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Bart's such a bro. Bravado. <laughs> bravado. Who's bravado. Gonna, <laughs> who's going to win this fight? Because I did the expert analysis on the Rams. I think I did an excellent job. Did I not do an incredible job? They, we were also like, ah, oh, we're going to bet on Rams because they're LA. <laughs> like, there was no. I didn't say that, you motherfucker. I said, <laughs> my, you the analysis. Aaron Donald is gonna crush this shit. And what happened? And Aaron Donald crushed the shit. A lot. He crushed it a lot. <laughs> Should've got MVP. <laughs> Fucking Cooper Cup, dude. It was Cooper heavy Cup is bad. Yeah, he's pretty sick though. Literally yeah. takes no skill to bet the heavy favorite. Anyway, <laughs> point is, is that what do you think is gonna happen? I think the guy Jorge Masvidal is fighting uh, Colby Covington. Colby Covington. Colby Colby Golf Co Muttons. Is that what they call him? I don't know. I just made it up. Okay. <laughs> I was like, is that you? <laughs> so I was like, okay. Uh, You're not allowed to give me oh. shit for the rest of the day. <laughs> but uh, I think Colby Covington has a really good shot at winning. I think like 80% chance. Colby Covington, my, my problem, is, huge. My problem yeah. is he sounds like a kid from my neighborhood that I could beat up. And oh, he kind of looks like yeah. it. He kind of looks like he could beat him up. And he's yeah. going to beat yeah. Jorge Masvidal 80%. I think so. I think so. Just style wise, right? Especially when you're betting, you have to take that into account for fighting. It's like the fighting style of one individual, how that matches up with a Jorge Masvidal. So Colby Covington, if you guys don't know, he is like a five round war machine. Uh, Jorge Masvidal is a one round Michael Jordan. So that's why the style is so exciting. Cause in one round, this guy can make the craziest shit fucking happen. But if you don't make it out of that first round, oh, this wow. guy will make our life a <laughs> living hell Christ. for five rounds. Yeah. Like he will fuck you up. So who are you guys betting on? Well, Masvidal's the underdog and I like him, so I bet on Masvidal. Part of me feels like there is room for an upset. Wh which one's the Michael Jordan, Jordan guy? Masvidal. Masvidal. He's excited, he'll do He's a Michael Jordan guy, what's that mean? Like he can do like the craziest, like three three minute hang time in the air there. type shit. 300 books on Michael Jordan, yeah, please. Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> They're all, okay, uh, and then you're like, all right. Wow! <laughs> Just nailed that bit. Bulls win, Bulls win! <laughs> nah, he's like, so Masvidal is like the, the guy with the X factor, right? Like he can do, he can do the shit that like, you're like, Oh my god, that was fucking impossible, right? Like okay. that, like the Usain Bolt sprinting and then looking at second place, like smiling type wow. of shit. Um, wow. But if he doesn't okay. do that in the first round, then you got a guy that like makes your life a living hell. I'm gonna be honest. <coughs> I'm gonna give you some pushback. I think I think you're giving him a little too much credit. Who? He said wow. five. <laughs> Here's my favorite thing. He said he said five round. War machine with those pauses. I'm like, whoa, he's yeah. cutting a fucking promo right now. That, that, is, correct. Is, that is, is correct, though. That is correct. He is, right? But the Michael Jordan. Yeah, thing? the one round Michael Jackson. Come on. Yeah, I just like him. Maybe I just Jackson. like him, dude. Yeah, Michael B. Jordan, or what are yeah, we talking Michael about? Michael B. Jordan, dude. That's Give me Michael B. Jordan on the fight. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Who nailed that fight? 
Uh, Michael Jordan with a twisted ankle. <laughs> You're just betting on the outcome of Fruitvale Station. The more we're talking about it, the more I feel like we shouldn't bet. <laughs> I'm like backtracking now. Is he coming in as Killmonger? No, he's not, unfortunately. So then, I don't know. I don't know. So who are you gonna bet on? The one round Michael J. Fox. <laughs> Obviously, what the fuck? Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna bet on the other guy. If Kobe, you find Michael J. Fox, yeah. Kobe. I think if if, I, if I'm gonna win, yeah. if I'm doing like Steve analysis with the Super Bowl, I think smart money is for Colby Covington, but the odds are probably too high on him for it to be worth it. Oh really? So everyone thinks he's gonna win? He's the favorite. I think he's like a plus, like a minus two fifty or something. Oh no shit! Well, I, don't, I barely know what that means. So, <laughs> so you gotta bet uh, two fifty to win hundred dollars. Oh, you know what's interesting though is both of these guys are Trump supporters. Oh, interesting. Oh, yes. Trump versus oh. Trump. Donald might actually show up and get a phone and call both of them. <laughs> Give him a salute, <laughs> dude. Because both of them have been in the like winning interview. Like Trump calls him, and he they pick up like, oh my god, hey, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, I just won. Like they wear wow. the MAGA hats, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, like, they both love really? Them. Yeah, they back both like love back them. when Trump was president too. So and he actually came to one of the fights to watch him fight. Hey. And he was like there with the Secret right. Service and everything. Nice. So we'll see, dude. We'll see. Every one of these motherfuckers has a Trump hat on. <laughs> It's gonna be all, it's like Trump every stadium. UFC fighter. UFC is kind of a it Trump looks sport, like I think. A <laughs> but I think I think for for Jorge, he's from his his parents are Cuban, so he's from Cuban yeah, descent. So, so he's like very like very anti, staunch Republican. Anti, yeah, yeah like anti socialism. You, you know, hey, that's. I'm right. surprised they're not fighting at the Trump <laughs> Tower. You know what I mean? But they don't have a stadium, so I, I get it. But they should use our room. <laughs> you know where the fight is? Where's the fight? It's in Vegas, right? Yeah, Team Mobile so. Arena. Yeah, they should fight where we fucking. <laughs> Imagine if they fought where we, yeah, recorded JK News at. Probably wouldn't have a lot of ticket sales. Well, we could watch online. In the lobby and like shit. Intimate theater. They probably would say no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Should've went to Circus Circus. Yeah, yeah. No, what, uh, so, I was gonna, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, about um, Jorge. Jorge. If, have you seen him lose a fight before? Yeah. And how did he lose? He's, he's been knocked out. It's like round two. Okay. He only has the power in round one. He's lost by decision. Okay. You know what I mean? So I feel like style wise, this does is a tough quit? Is this Does he have quit in his eyes? I don't think so. I don't okay. think he has quit, but okay. it's just like the guy he's fighting is pretty tough. But as far as like, like if we're talking about sports betting, there's no other sport that's more fun to bet than fights, I think. Because that's so unpredictable. That's not fair. Especially Anything in the UFC. Happen. What about uh, ping pong? Oh, can we find a good better. <laughs> can we can we place bets on ping pong? There's yeah, this there's this one fight that just happened. I don't even know who it is, but uh, he got socked in the orbital and his fucking eye came out. What the fuck are you talking? His eye you came out. He ain't selling it, bro. You he ain't selling the sport. You can't, you can't predict these things. <laughs> you know can you bet on that? Eye comes you out, you win a thousand dollars. But he might have he might have won if his eye stayed inside. Like you could probably bet on a fight to end by a doctor stoppage, so like an injury like How that. Hard did it come and you out? could probably get a really good payout. That's a Joe style bet. Like we're talking like cartoon out, or are we talking like Guinness World Record type of No, not too crazy. It was like it just was it was just yeah, it just kinda of popped out. I feel like it's bad karma to sit there and go, I hope he gets the... taken into orbital, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> I hope there's a drastic injury to happen. Yeah, Fuck. I hope there's a Guinness World Record. Wow. <laughs> All right, so who we bet on then? Who's it gonna be? You, you pick, Nick, and we'll, we'll bet. Who do you want? To? Are we gonna? Yeah, you have the Bovoda account. We're gonna send you money. I'm gonna send you money for the underdog. For the underdog? <laughs> how, 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 who do you want to win aside from odds? Like, just like which fighter do you like? I kind of want to see Jorge win. Why? Because he likes Trump more, or because he likes Trump less? He, 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 I think he likes Trump more. Like I think Trump he's more. really about it. Okay, that's that's how you're basing your bet. I think he, well, that's a character. Yeah, the other guy is doing a shit. He's an American character. So check, check this out. This guy, Colby Covington, he was about to, he was he was winning all his fights, yeah. seven fight win streak. The UFC was like, hey, you're too boring. We're gonna cut you because it all wins by decision. And you're like, you're beating, you're 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 beating the shit out of these, all these guys. You're making it look easy. Nobody really cares to watch you fight, but. The fight, the night they told him like, hey, you're gonna get cut. He goes and fights in Brazil. He's fighting a Brazilian guy, a legend in Brazil. Right after the fight ends, he goes, Brazil, you're a stinking dump. You guys are all dogs and you guys are all trash. <laughs> he yells to the whole, like, and he's just talking shit. He's like, I beat the shit out of your Brazil. How is he alive? But yeah, and people in Brazil, they don't play. They fucking go to your hotel room. Yeah. They'll, they'll like, other uh, Brazilian uh, UFC fighters, Got in fights with him at the hotel after that fight. So like he was getting death threats everywhere. But Did he fucked those fools up too though, because that'd be crazy. Nah, he was like, stop, chill, 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 chill. And like the It's a prank, bro. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, kinda. He kinda he kinda pulled That's that. That's my character. It's a character. Yeah, but then he got really popular. 
they kept him in the UFC, and now he's headlining all. Now he does that every city he goes, and that's his shtick now. So, so he does like the kind of like a corny professional wrestler shtick, but he's like Trump this, Trump that, and that's what he does now. And he's very popular, and he shows up with these hot chicks. Yeah. Then when the cameras are off, he's like doing hover hands because he doesn't really want to because he's a gentleman. Wow, okay. He's kind of like, like a fake uh, Rick He's Flair. really like doubly down I on his like character. Him. He's like, it's interesting. Obama was my favorite president, <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> uh, what I love about the UFC too is that like it's, a, it's at Staples, right? Or it's at um, T-Mobile? Yeah. T-Mobile. Yeah. But they had to, they used to have them at all the casinos, but then Dana White kept cleaning them out because he's such a good blackjack player. Yeah, yeah. dude. So then he would, he would, they would, so like, you can't play blackjack anymore. We love you here. We love you coming to our hotels. We love you. And he's like, cool, I'm pulling the UFC out. Fuck you. Yeah. And so he, he basically can't go any, to any hotels now. He's going to the fucking T-Mobile Center because there's no gambling there. Yeah, that's yeah. so crazy. And there's gambling in my fucking grocery store, for, for Christ's sake. He's that good at blackjack? Yeah, because he, so. he just counts cards. He openly wow. just counts it and he's all like spreading his bets really big. Because he's a fucking bazillionaire, right? So he's all like... Um, I'm gonna pay the min minimum and then when the count is favorable to me, I'm just gonna raise it like a motherfucker and rake in like so he wins big and loses small He loses a lot. Uh, he loses a lot, but it's still small comparable to what he wins. So yeah, scary They call them advantage players. It's not illegal. You so can't you can, count, you can cards? count cards. It's yeah. not illegal. Yeah. Okay, because you're just using your brain